For J. Frank Sampson, a celebrated artist and esteemed university educator with a career that spans nearly six decades, success all began with his mother reading books to him as a child and continues to this day at the age of 91. Growing up in Edmore, North Dakota, Mr. Sampson's mother, Mabel Elizabeth, who worked as a teacher, would read to him and his four brothers, and he always gravitated towards any and all art-related books she brought home from school. This early exposure to illustrations and paintings and caricatures inspired Mr. Sampson to pursue art himself. He went on to earn a Bachelor of Arts from Concordia College in Minnesota in 1950, followed by a Master of Fine Arts from the University of Iowa in 1952, where he also completed postgraduate work from 1956 to 1959. Wedged in between his studies, Mr. Sampson served for the United States from 1954 to 1956. Mr. Sampson's big break happened when he became a Fulbright Fellow in Belgium from 1959 to 1960, which he was able to include on his record. When he returned from Belgium, the University of Colorado Boulder, which had been searching for a visiting artist for a year, contacted him. He was eventually asked to come on permanently, and his lifelong career in education began. Mr. Sampson contends that the institution would not have inquired about him had it not been for the Fulbright Fellowship. He first served as an assistant professor of fine arts at the school from 1961 to 1967, and then became an associate professor from 1968 to 1972. In 1972, Mr. Sampson became a full professor of fine arts and gained emeritus status in 1990. Outside of the lecture hall, Mr. Sampson has accrued prominence as a prolific artist, with several one-man shows and exhibitions held throughout the country, including the Boulder Museum of Contemporary Arts, the Arvada Center of the Arts, the Denver Art Museum, and the Walker Art Center in Minnesota. Mr. Sampson has exhibited his art, predominantly paintings, since the 1950s, and his work has been represented in permanent collections at the Colorado Springs Fine Arts Center, the Des Moines Art Center, the Nelson Gallery Atkins Museum, the Jocelyn Art Museum, the Library of Congress, the Littleton Museum, the Minnesota Museum of Art, the Sheldon Memorial Art Center, and the Boston Public Library, among several other venues. Additionally, Mr. Sampson was the subject of an exhibit at the Sandra Phillips Gallery in Denver in 2017, entitled Frank Sampson, New Paintings. In an article published by Westworld about the exhibit, Mr. Sampson is said to have essentially anticipated the 80s, with his extremely individual and unique work in the 1950s and 1960s, which was made up of representational imagery rather than the traditional abstraction of the time. When Mr. Sampson is not being an accomplished artist, he enjoys exercising and listening to classical music. J. Frank Sampson's prolific and rewarding career in education and the arts has been built on a lifelong love and passion for what he does. The legacy that he hopes to leave behind is one of knowing what you want to do and making that dream come true through hard work, determination, imagination, and creativity.